screen on the font. So we're going to go to the font group. Let's make it a bucket here. And I'm going to choose this really dark green on the background. And then on the lettering, I'm going to make it the light green. So it stands out. Hopefully that stands out enough so everybody can see it. And, and, and so there we have that. And then in the, in the liabilities, I'm going to make this one on the font group. I'm going to make this one bucket dark orange. And then the lettering, I'm going to make light orange. Maybe this one, even that one might even be better. If I go this one or this one, this one, are those the same? Anyways, I'll choose this one. That's what I had before. And then we're going to say the, the uh, owner's draws. We're going to say this is going to, I'm going to make this blue drop down. We got the blue, which I, was it this one or this one that I, I think I used this one. I want to make it line up with my example of this one. And then A, we're going to make this the light blue. And so then the, the revenue and expenses, I'm going to put this all in one group because this is kind of the same. This is basically part of equity. The whole income statement is kind of part of equity. I'll, I'll talk more about that when we go through the practice problem. So I'd still like to make this blue and blue and blue, but I'm going to make it slightly different blue. I'll try to make it like this blue so it stands out a little differently. And the, and the lettering will make basically this blue up top. So it looks a little bit different. So now we can see it. these are kind of related is what I'm trying to get at. But this is the revenue and, and the expenses. And I don't have any special different color for the expenses the way I'm going now. Now, you can also then say, well, I don't have the grid lines anymore. And if I try to put the grid lines in, if I go up top and put the grid lines in, they're there, but they're not really that distinct because they're now I got these dark, these dark things. So that might be good. You might want to put the grip, make the grid lines white then, which you can do. So they'll stand out a bit more. So you could go then and go to the font group, font group dot drop down, go all the way down to the more borders and say, I'm going to make the colors. I'm going to make the colors white like that. And then I'm going to choose the border all around and everything inside, which you can't really see down here because we chose white. So you can't really see what's going on. But if you say, okay, then there it is. Now you got the white borders, which might stand out a little bit more than the black ones. I'm not sure which you'd prefer, but you could test those two out. Then I'm going to put the numbers in. We're just making up the numbers here. Now note, what I'd like to do is make a good series of test numbers up front because I'm making, in essence, a practice problem. So what I'm what you would normally do is try to make it, put in all the test numbers and then use one number as kind of like a plug number, which you might say.